Good evening and welcome back to Obscurity on Modi Apparatus. On today's episode, we're going to do some more exploring and see if we can go after the Desert Cube. And then we'll take a look at some of the updates around the base and do some more questing. So let's get going. All right, so we are back at the base. And as promised, I did a little bit of updating between episodes here. This does not look too different aside from the fact that the cube is missing here. And then I also added these pumpkins around the outside because what I was finding is that my farm was not super efficient here because it was too dark on the back half side here. Uh, things were popping out and uh, the crops were disappearing. So I had to put some more pumpkins in and uh, now it looks great. A lot of light in here and all that. So it's pretty cool. Uh, we still got our introduction torch here. We're going to make a couple more of these today, I think, because we have the means and the technology now. Um, and then that's pretty much it between episodes here for upstairs, aside from moving the uh, little uh, cubes here. So let's take a look downstairs and see what I've done down here. First of all, you'll notice I've completed the wall here to keep everything out. I got a nice little access door for a mine. And then uh, down over here, things are looking quite different. I rearranged the way I did this lava here. So it's a nice and protective. No chance of anything falling into there now and no chance of me accidentally stepping into it, which was a little bit of a problem before. And then uh, I also have my circle of cubes. Now, I don't know if this circle is big enough. We might need to expand it soon. Um, we have the uh, the villager cube. This is the nether cube. This is the ice cube. I went back and grabbed that. I'm trying to match these up to what they have here, too, so I can tell what it is. I want to have like a block of emerald here to signify the villager cube, but I don't quite have enough emerald yet. And then we have the nether brick cube here, fancy nether brick. And then we have the snow cube here. And then we got room for a few more to add on. And then this one is where all of our machines are. But you'll see back here, I already moved the smeltery out, so it's out here now. Now, the one benefit of having it inside the cube before was that it was chunk loaded all the time, so it would keep processing even when we're not here. But I decided to go with the farm and set in here instead because that has the same benefit. And I plan to use food for power using our culinary engine here. So food is going to be super important for us, uh, at least at the beginning here. And uh, until we get some better means of fuel and that kind of thing. Uh, I got the smeltery set up. I got my other machines and stuff set up over here. And then, uh, yeah, my basic stuff over here, too. So today's episode, we are going to be heading off once more into the darkness. So let's go take a look and see where that quest was. There was unearth the darkness. Now, we could do a couple more things in here. Wait, there are some quests we can take care of now. I don't know if we can do the golden bag yet. Don't know if we have quite enough gold for that just yet. Let's take a look here quick. It's just a golden bag of holding. Um, and the golden bag of holding is... Let's see, it requires a lot of gold from what I remember. It requires a block of gold, a chest. Actually, we might have that now, now I'm thinking about it. We can't make the upgraded version yet, but we do have 18 gold. That will be enough, actually. We can actually do this one and get it knocked out right away here. We would just need, uh, ooh, the only thing we might be missing is the wool. Four blocks of wool, that's the only thing I don't know if we have. Uh, we do have the diamond, though. We do have uh, some wool. Hmm. Let's see, where might I have that? You know, worst case scenario, we do have the cotton growing upstairs. We could go grow some cotton quick here. There's six wool in here. Okay, that's great. Uh, it's just what we need here, so we can do this. We got an extra chest on us already. Put the two gold over there. Gold block here. Diamond on top. Golden bag of holding. And this is another way to expand our inventory space like this. And then we can actually upgrade this to the enchanted golden bag of holding if we include some magical wood from extra utilities, which does require some enchanted books, we don't have the means for that just yet because we don't have any, uh, well, we don't have the um, enchanting table set up yet. This is the only thing. We do have some obsidian though. We probably could set one of those up. It's gonna cost us a couple diamonds. Books we can do though. Um, okay, maybe we'll consider that here. That could be a thing we do later this episode. I do wanna go to the desert cube though. We've been putting it off for a little while here. So I'm gonna take care of that today. We have a lot of means for holding more things here now, though. That's pretty great. So we have to find good ways to use that. I got some tools inside of here, but really this works better inside of an ender pouch. And we could make the ender chest today, too. Wow, we could do a lot of things today. Um, I have six obsidian in here already. And what do we need for the ender chest? I think it's four obsidian and blaze rods is the only thing we don't have a lot of. We don't have a lot of wool either and an ender pearl. Okay, we don't have the ender pearl. I know that for sure. Um, yeah, so we'll hold off on that just yet, even though it would help us out a little bit for uh, exploring here. The one thing we do want to do that's going to help us a lot for exploring, though, is to make some more uh, interdiction torches. And that we're going to use the blaze rods for, so I have four of those. And then we're also going to need some luminite dust. And I don't really have, I don't have three 
slime right now. Okay, let's see if we can go upstairs and kill a couple slimes to get four so we can make two interdiction torches because I think it's going to take two per thing here. So uh, my my uh, axe here, my war axe here is, has been upgraded once more. It has beheading on it now. I still haven't managed to catch any uh, skeleton skulls yet though. Oh my god, there's so much knockback on this thing now too. It's impressive. Um, I hit guys and they just disappear off the face of the earth. Uh, so we're just going to walk this way through the lights, uh, see if we can spot any slimes. Ooh, there's an enderman though, isn't it? Okay, so let's see if there's any spot we... Oh, it got darker over here all of a sudden. Okay, so that's some more string. That's pretty good for us. Okay, so we don't want to lose sight of the enderman. I do want to be able to fight him. Oh, we have a friend here now too. Um, well, if we can aggro him and bring him over to our area... Okay, that was the spider from before. He had only one hit left. Alright, so we need to get a spot where we can kill him easily. So let's mine into here. And then we can hide out in here and let him come to us. There, sir. Come on over, man. Yep, no, he's gonna go over there. Come on back. Come on back. It might be a little bit of a cowardly tactic, but you know what? It's just fine. This is the way you have to do things in this game sometimes. Oh, I really hope the darkness doesn't kill us here. That could be a possibility. He's got so much health. I really don't want to put some more uh, sharpness on this thing because it's it's not doing enough damage. Did we get anything there? Didn't drop one. Didn't drop one. That's too bad. Well, it was worth a try. In any event, let's go. Let's go leave the marker for our. Uh... Oh, we're getting for slimes, That's right? We're looking for slimes. Forgot about that. Uh, I see a blizz over there. I don't see any slimes right now. Usually they're popping up all over the place. But today they just want to, sh as soon as we need one, they decide not to show up. Well, we don't need two interdiction torches. We've been getting fine just by just fine without with just one. Um, I mean, it would be a nice convenience to have. Oh, there we go. There's our slime. Okay, so we have to get over to there and without getting into the darkness too much. Oh, there's one over there too. Okay, so we got our options open. Uh, let's see if we can head towards the icy cube over here without getting too exposed we need food too being in the darkness does lower your hunger i've noticed that's one of the way it hurts you um so it, kill, it kills you faster oh god he's on our heads uh it lowers your hunger the longer you're in darkness you'll see how fast my darkness my uh, my uh my hunger goes down when i'm standing in the dark here so that's one reason just one reason to stand in the light you stay alive longer we need to, we need to give me some uh something here buddy And this is without even the power-up thing. If I do this, it even powers it f further. It does extra damage. Um, I can't knock the limbs off of those guys, unfortunately. Come on over here. Where's our slime friend? There he is. Hi there. All right, there's the one we need, finally. Okay. So let's head back, and we'll uh, make those interdiction torches that we wanted. And then we'll set off in, in search of the desert cube. So, interdiction torches. All we'll need is to go like this. And we don't have quite enough on us, so we'll need some more Illuminite. But that's okay, we have some down here, I think. I'm trying to do a little mining between episodes. We really should get some automation set up for mining soon, so I don't have to go mining so often. Um, we can just... Uh, we want four of these, right? So we'll go one, two, three, four. We've been using those slimes too much for food, because it's such a good food source. But uh, then we got these like so, we got these like so. Our glowing water is here. And then we need a couple diamonds. Five only still, so, so. Two, and two interdiction torches, fantastic. So we're gonna keep one here uh, on hand for a rainy day, we'll take just one with us. Um, or should we take both with us? Well, we only have five torches, it might be best, better to take both with us. Hmm, all right, let's take both with us. Do we need anything else, you think? Maybe just a thing of cobblestone so we can make a bridge or something if we need to. Um, make a make a ladder, make a pole up. We need to let's do these diamonds here, so don't take those with us. Oh, uh, I got some nether quartz. Last time we were rewarded with some uh, quartz ore, some 16 quartz ore from a reward bag, I think it was, and that was put to good use. If you put that in a smelter, it gets four each, so we were really getting 64, and that actually completes another quest here. Oh, we forgot to get that quest too here. Unearth the darkness and golden bag, enchanted book, or a block of gold, or bookshelves. Hmm. Bookshelves will be tedious to get. It might be good to get those. Um, enchanted book is probably not going to help us long term. So let's grab the bookshelves as our reward here. Because those will just save some tedium down the road. So put those in there for later when we make our enchanting area. And let's see. Let's turn this heart in over here. 
almost enough for one in there. Good reward bag. Let's see what's in it. Redstone torches. We can take these with us. These will provide some light if we if we need some in a pinch. Between our interdiction torches and those, I think we should be fine. We'll bring some water in case we need to put some put a defense down. We'll bring some buckets in case we have some lava we need to pick up. And we could leave this iron ore here. Actually, we'll leave it in the smeltery. And uh, this has been going pretty well. Is it out of lava yet? No, good. Okay, so I think we're ready to go here. Next thing, last thing we need to do is just, uh, ooh, there's one thing we should do before we leave too. I wanna get the hang glider as well, cause this will help us get a little bit more mobility and it's not too expensive to make. I think I have everything we need already. We need 12 of these and there's a bunch of sticks and that should be enough. We need two of those and we just need to make one more set of sticks cause we need one more for the middle here. And we put one in the middle, one on the other side the hang glider and this is going to help us get around a little bit faster so let's turn that in we'll get the rope ladder or the reward bag mm. is it just one set of rope ladder if it's just one rope ladder that's no good if it's like the set of like a bunch that might be good it doesn't tell us how much it is though let's go with the reward bag let's go random rewards here we get a couple reward bags get a good and a basic well that's no bad basics are no good ocean of swiftness well that could help us a little bit let's just take this right now we'll get speed as we run through the uh the world here and uh we also got a elixir of bounding and we got Carpenter's Garage Doors. All right, well, those are good reward, I guess, Quest question mark. Uh, so let's leave the marker now. So we have that turned in. Uh, let's, ooh, yeah, Traveler's Wings. We should probably work on those uh, very, very soon. Here, gives an extra jump height and then combines with the hang glider, exactly right. Ooh, how much, what does that cost? Let's take a look and see, Traveler's Wings. Traveler's Wings, it can't be that expensive, right? Ender Pearl, which we just don't have. Bronze we have, and gold. Oh, that's actually pretty cheap. Okay, let's see if we can get Ender Pearl. We won't be able to get it right now, but maybe if we find an Enderman on our way, we can uh, grab that. Uh, and that'll go in the bauble slot here, so we won't have to take away any of our, our uh, abilities, I think, or as far as our uh, armor goes. So that's pretty cool. We have a bronze, we could do that. Um, man, our pack is full. We haven't even left yet, our pack is full. That's never a good sign. Uh, let's leave some of the stuff we don't necessarily need to carry with us. Bounding, jump height for five minutes, okay. Combine that with the speed. I mean, we'd be a force we reckoned with here. Let's do that. Let's do it. Let's, let's just go for it. Um, put this in here for now. And the last thing we need to do is figure out the coordinates. So let's go take a look and see where the desert desert is. Savannah, sandy, sandy savannas and deserts from the overworld are once a crucial source of items such as cactus and sand. You may be able to create sand by other methods. However, a trip to the cube may still be required. All right. Well, I'm fine with that. Sahara Desert is at 952217. 952217. Uh, we'll go... Control B, new, 952217. Did I say that right? Let's take a look here quick. I got it right, right on the money this time. Uh, we just need to go into edit this again here and, oh, it didn't save. Well, geez, 952217, ooh, 217183. And this is the desert. We'll make it, uh, Sandy Brown, there we go. Save it, and that takes us and puts it on the map here for us, and it is, where? Oh, that's pretty far away. We're over here. Is that right? That's where we are? Hmm, what's over here? I think this map might be glitched a little bit because it has this over here. That looks like where we were before. And this looks like the nether. I don't quite understand. This looks right, though. All right, well, we'll go with it and we'll grab our elixir of bounding, our elixir of swiftness. We'll also bring some carrots because we found out that those actually provide a lot of benefit for sight here. Um, let's put those in our hot bar here. We'll eat those and munch on those when we need to. Put these in our hot bar. Uh, anything else we want to get rid of? Okay, let's get rid of, um, we have two picks on us right now. So we have this bronze pick, we don't need to carry that with us. We'll keep take our nice shiny pick with us, because that's the good one. Uh, we have a couple bows, we don't need to have two bows. We must have just picked that one up from a dead skeleton here. Uh, let's put these here, put these here, these here. And we'll drink both of these, that'll take our slots up. Okay, I think I'll like that. Let's uh, drink these, and which way are we headed here? That way, okay. Drink this down. Drink this down. Drink it down. Come on. All right, we got speed. We got super speed. The hang glider is going to protect us from any fall damage. 
and uh, we're off to the races here. I just gotta remember to drop a torch down every once in a while once we start taking damage. Our hunger's gonna go quickly because we have uh, we're in the darkness here, and we're gonna start taking damage here soon. I think when our hunger falls out. So let's put down the torch here, and we'll eat something real quick. A little bit of this. All right, and we'll grab this back on. And here we go. This is actually gonna we're gonna get there in no time here with this. Just gotta remember to stop and drop a torch every once in a while. Oh, here we go. Here's something. Whoa, another void chasm looks like. I don't want to be in here. I don't think I want to be in here. Excuse me, sir. Uh, let's drop a torch down because it's dark in here actually, even if it doesn't look like it. And we'll uh, mine our way out of here. I do not want. Oh God, no, 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 no. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. Okay. Ooh, dropped a heart. Ooh, that's really good, actually. Right, let's let's pill her out of here if we can. Without anything falling on our heads still. Okay, we gotta be quick. Something's gonna just drop on our heads. I know it. All right, there we go. Now we're back on back on the road here. Now again, those angel wings or whatever it was called will really help us travel those wings. Oh, here comes our stuff. It's running out here. All right, let's go. Keep going. Oh, we got some skeletons on the horizon. They're gonna hit us. Oh, we got through them. Okay. Let's gotta avoid them. Whoa. Hello. This is worth the trip. This is worth the price of mission for sure. Look at this thing. Holy cow. This is awesome. This is not what I expected at all here. Whoa. Okay, it's dark. Okay, that's the problem. Oh god. No, 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 no. Okay. Whew. So this is a uh, magenta frequency bricks. This is uh looks a little dangerous. Things will be spawning everywhere in here. Oh, there we go. Um, let's I mean I think they can still spawn anywhere. Well, we got a broken spawner. Okay, that's okay, we can fix that. And oh my god, common treasures. All kinds of heads. Don't think I want any of those, but still, very cool. Um Yeah, this is a this is a maze. I think that the Oh yeah, see like I was gonna say the um the the little light vision here is uh, kind of hurting us at the moment because we are taking damage and we don't realize it. We can't make sure we make sure we don't leave these behind. How's our torch situation? Okay, let's do this. Let's put these down here. Not those. We'll take these in a pinch here. Oh, that's gonna close the doors though, isn't it? That's all right. We'll we'll get the low light vision back and we'll put these down occasionally to figure out where we're going here. So it says it's at 83. Is this where we're supposed to be? I think. That's no, further over that way. It's still 500 meters away. We found something cool here. I mean, oh, geez. Okay. Well, let's break this too. I took any risks here. Nothing cool in this one, though. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Oh, okay. Low light vision is kind of uh, messing with us here. Wow, there's a lot to explore here. Oh, my God. Just like that, huh? All right, well, we might need to just mine towards the way we need to go here. Where is it? Another desert is that far away. Okay, well, let's just go. Let's just go plow straight through the wall here. There we go. <laughs> we make our own doors. And we're going to start taking damage again here, I bet, in a minute. So let's be careful here. And actually, let's put the uh, cobblestone back in our hotbar here. So we can make walls if we need to at the last second. And I have a feeling we're going to start taking damage. Yep. So let's wrap that down. Rest for a moment. Okay, here we go. Oh, God. That was quick. I guess the amount of light that you're in tells you how much you know benefit you gain from it. This will protect us from all these guys that are coming at us. All right. So now it's time to run again. Um, let's, uh, let's grab and go. Still got 400 meters to go here still. Uh, let's get our, let's get this back out and we'll need this for sure. Grab it and go. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. I think we lost our bounding. This is still faster than walking. Beats walking. For sure. Oh, we gotta watch over the, that, that witch could do us in for sure. Oh, we got mushrooms. 
Okay, I feel like we're gonna start taking damage again. Yep, I, I kind of get in the timing of this down now. Uh, at least I think this guy can still do some damage to us from the range, so we're gonna keep going here. All right, let's go. Oh, that was quick. All right, we're almost out of carrots, so this is going to be a long road back, and we don't have any torches, so this could be a big, big mistake. Oh, boy, yeah. Did not plan this one accordingly. Uh, okay, well, well, maybe we'll get there and we'll find some good stuff, and we'll have at least we'll find the cube and have a spot to rest for a moment. And another hole in the ground. Well, that's convenient, but... Okay, all right. Nothing to worry about, nothing to worry about. We'll make it back just fine, right? I mean, this is one-way trip, right? Um... The last trip we did like this to the nether cube was kind of the same way. It was a one-way trip there, and we kind of got stuck. This time around, we don't have as many resources going over here, though. We weren't quite as prepared as we were last time. We're almost there, though. We almost made it. And we're going to start taking damage like one second here. If this is the wrong direction, I don't know what we're going to do. Okay. All right. All right. I think the world will look quite different on the way back because it's going to be so dark. All right, our health is coming back here. Let's take our last carrot. And that's not all of our food, at least. And here's take our torch and we're going to run again. And this does not look to be anything here. There's nothing here. Oh, there it is. OK, cool. Just got to drop some of these down so we can defend from skeletons. Stop these guys from coming in. And shooting us in the face, please. All right. Okay, that works for me. Let's just box this in a little bit more while we still have the light. And then we'll worry about, you know, actually providing light here in a moment. Man, the journey back is going to be a bad one. We can do it, though. We can do it. The way home won't be nearly as bad as the way here. Okay, let's take a look at this thing here and see what's inside of the desert cube. It's tiny. Not that small, but it's, oh, there's some reeds in here, some cactus, all kinds of good stuff. But uh, this is not really helpful. Oh, these cinder pearls will actually give us uh, blaze powder. That's kind of nice. But um, yeah, there might be some stuff hidden here. Maybe underneath the sand. Uh, let's grab our, our let's grab out our shovel and see if there's anything maybe we can find underneath here. I could really use some resources if there would be just something here. That'd be nice. So far, it doesn't look like it, though. Um, not saying it couldn't happen. I guess, you know, the, the, the journey here was necessary, as, as they said, because we did see a lot of cool stuff on the way here, but now we're kind of trapped over here. It's going to be a long, long road home. And I don't know if this cube is upgraded or not. We'll have to get out of here and take a look at it, because I don't think I brought a diamond. So we have to make this trip all over again. It is upgraded. OK, so we'll take it with us. We're not going to take it just yet because uh, we are on the desert and um, we're out in the wilderness here and we are going to be food for worms in a minute here, I think. Let's drop off some of the stuff we don't need to carry with us here. Um, save those for later. Keep these on us at all times. Take the food with us and get rid of one of our shovels. Oh man, this trip. This trip is supposed to be a really nice short trip, but apparently this is going to be the entire episode almost. Um, you think we can grab it and get back? I hope so. I hope so. It's so far away from home here. It's uh, a thousand meters of the spawn tower. Let's see. We have the base turned off right now. Base is that away. 976 meters. Oh my god. All right, so I guess what we'll do is grab the cube and then think about running home. All right, we got the cube. Next, I think we'll put it inside of our golden bag of holding. And really, if I had uh, that nether pouch or that nether uh, chest, ender chest set up already, I would just put all my stuff into there and just uh, plan for the worst going out of here. But um, not an option here. At least we got the cube. And now we have the journey home. Oh, boy. OK, I'm not looking forward to this whole journey here. And we are out of regular torches. We can only use these. Which are not going to do a whole lot for us. Well, look, we have these two interdiction torches. We can keep these going um, to save us when we need it. Okay, so let's go. We're out of low light vision, though, so we're going to be at a loss here. And, uh, okay, let's go. Let's go, go, go. Holy cow, we can't run right now. Okay, there we go. 
Oh, we need to get uh, this back down again because we need to get this out. Oh boy. Oh boy. Holy cow. Okay. Um, let's dodge this for a second here. Holy cow. <laughs> All right. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, I'm gonna stay in here. This is fine for me. I'll just live here now. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we are trapped here forever. Uh, it's not gonna be pretty. I think we'll have to leave it on a cliffhanger right here because I don't know what's gonna happen and I feel like we're gonna die and we have to come back and get all of our stuff for the, uh, the inevitable corpse run here. So uh, I've been Modi. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, and this has been uh, another episode of Obscurity. Trapped in the darkness. I'll see you guys next time.